this video, we will learn how to implement Google Sign-in in Firebase 3.6 using Swift 3 and Xcode 8. It will be a simple login using the Google Sign-in button in front of us. It will log the user in into the Firebase authentication system and also store the user's details in the Firebase database. So let's begin. We'll start by coming to our Firebase console. Click on Create New Project and name the project iOS Google Sign-in. Once the project is created, we'll click on Add Firebase to your iOS app and put in the bundle ID of our iOS application. For that, let's open up Xcode. Create a new Xcode project, single view application and call it iOS Google Sign-in. And I'll just store that in my downloads. From here, you can see that a bundle identifier that we need is available here. Copy that. Come back to the Firebase console and paste that in here and add app. This will download a Google service info.plist file. Drag that file into your Firebase application and copy items if needed. And we'll just close this out. Next, open up the terminal and cd into your project folder. Inside the project folder, type pod in it to create the pod file. Nano into the pod file. Here we'll install Firebase, Firebase Auth, Firebase Database and Google Sign-in. Then we'll type in pod install. This will install all the dependencies that we require for the application. Once installed, close out this project and open up the Xcode workspace project, which is created by the pod. First thing we do is we go into the project, go into the capabilities and enable keychain sharing. Without this, the simulator will not have access to the keychain and will not be able to perform the login using the Google sign-in. Next, go into the info tab here. Go to the URL types, click on add over here, open up your Google service info.plist. From here, the reverse client ID is what we need. Copy that. Come back here and paste it in here. The Google sign in basically requires this URL scheme. Now come to your app delegate. In your app delegate, let's import Firebase. And also we need to create what is known as a bridging header file to be able to import the Google sign-in methods from Objective-C to Swift. So let's see how we'll do that. We'll click on File, Create a New File. Click on Objective-C file and just call this Test and just create it. It'll ask us, would you like to configure an Objective-C bridging header? So we'll say Create Bridging Header. Once this bridging header is created, we can delete this file that we had created, test.m and move to trash. Coming to the bridging header, if we have a look at the documentation, the documentation asks us to put this line of code inside the bridging header file. So let's copy this line of code and paste it in here. Now this will ensure that all our methods from Objective-C are available in Swift. Coming back to the app delegate, the documentation advises us to then implement the GID sign-in delegate and then add these three lines of code inside the did finish launching with options method. So let's copy these three lines of code. Implement the GID sign in delegate and paste these three lines of code inside the did finish with launching options. Next it tells us to copy this function here into our application. If you, if you see this function is written in Swift 2. So what we'll do is we'll just copy the inside return statement and we'll come and implement this function on our own. So basically the function is, if you just type application open, it's the first method that comes and we can paste the statement that is set inside over here. This statement is also in Swift 2, but it will help us automatically convert it to Swift 3. If we just rectify the fix it errors. So handle URL becomes handle and URL goes inside. And these two values also get changed 
updated to Swift 3. Next what we need is, this is only if your app is running on iOS 8 and older, which we are not concerned with right now. We need to implement these two methods, which are the did sign in for user and did disconnect with user methods. Again, these are in Swift 2, so we'll implement them ourselves. We'll say sign in and it automatically shows us did sign in for user and disconnect automatically gives us the method. Coming back here, in the view controller, implement the GID sign in UI delegate protocol. And also inside the view controller, we need to put this line of code to set the UI delegate of the GID sign in object. So let's copy this line of code here. And over here we we'll say GID UI, which is GID sign in UI delegate and paste that line of code here. Next, we need to create the sign in button. The sign in button can be created either by putting a view into our view controller and then setting its class as the GID sign in button class, which is what we'll use. Or in your view controller, you can declare the sign in button as a property and then programmatically create the button by editing, it, editing the properties of the GID sign in button. Come to the main storyboard. Let's add a UI view first. Put it to the center. And let's just set it horizontally and vertically centered in the container. Let's not worry about the constraints for now. And let's set its class to GID's sign in button. Next, inside the sign in method, we'll get the Google ID token and the Google access token from the GID authentication object and exchange them for Firebase credentials. So, what we need to do is we just copy this code here, come back to our app delegate. In the did sign in method, let's paste that in. And finally, we can authenticate with Firebase. So just copy this line of code here, come back here and paste it in here. So once the user signs in, he also signs in with the Firebase authentication system. So for now, what we we'll do is we just print user signed into Firebase. And here we'll print user signed into Google and just check if these two are printed. Before we try this out, we must do one thing. Let's go into our Firebase console. Here, if we go into the authentication system, we have to set up a sign in method, go to Google and enable it and click on save. Once this is done, we can try this out. So there we have the sign in button in front of us. Let's tap it. It's opening up the account. Let's log in. It says I as Google sign in would like to view your email address and view your basic profile info. So click allow. And as we come back, it does nothing because we haven't done anything after that. But if we have a look in our console, user signed into Firebase and user signed into Google. Both are available. We can confirm that the user is signed in by going into our Firebase console and checking. So let's go to our Firebase console. Here we can see under the auth section that the user's email ID is showing now. But if you go into our database, as of now, there's nothing stored in our database. Though we can extract certain information from the user's UID from the auth system, It'll be nice to have our database under like a user's profile tab to have the user's data stored. So let's do that. So let's start by creating a reference to our database. Let's call this database ref of type fir database reference. Inside our fir auth, let's say self dot database ref is equal to fir database dot database dot reference. And then what we'll do is we'll check if the user has his details stored in the database or not. So we'll assume that it's under the user's profile node and under that we'll store each user under a unique ID, which is obtained from the user.uid. And we'll observe single event of type value. The data return, we can call it snapshot. And here we'll say let snapshot equal to snapshot.value and downcast that as an NS dictionary. 
and then we check if snapshot is equal equal to nil that means the user is logging in for the first time so we'll say self dot database reference dot child under that we'll go under the user profiles node under that we'll go user dot uid under that we'll save the user's name and we can get the name from the user that is returned after the user signs into the FIR database and then we'll also save the user's email address under that we'll say email we'll say set value and inside that we'll say user email else what we'll do is else that means that the user has already signed in earlier we'll send the user over to another screen so we'll say let main storyboard equal to UI storyboard and we'll say UI storyboard get the reference to the main storyboard say bundle is going to be nil and we'll say self dot window dot root view controller dot perform segue with identifier let us call this home view segue we have to create this and sender will be nil just come to the main storyboard create a new view controller over here from this view controller let's drag to this one and say present modeli let's name the segue what we named it over there which is home view segue and also let's just put in a nice label here which tells us that we've signed in so let's just say welcome and center like that and actually instead of putting this code under an else we can just remove the else so that Every user after the sign in is taken to the welcome screen. So now we can try this out. Let's sign in. And as you can see, we're taken to the welcome screen. Let's confirm the sign in. Here you can see in our database, the user profiles node is created, the user's UID is created, and the email and name are saved. And under the auth, we have the user's email saved. So that was covering the Google sign-in. I hope you guys like this and I hope you guys try this out. Thanks for watching.